Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion with me, Get Daved. We're building factories, we got we got all sorts of cool tech working down. It's a regular Silicon Valley out here. Probably gonna wait on some of this. Uh, no, actually, we're gonna even this out and then we're gonna ship out all the people. Hopefully before they get invaded and slaughtered. Because that'll be any day now. Get down there. So 11 turns to travel that far. It'll be down to 3 as soon as we get that last bit of tech. And yeah, we might as well poke around behind enemy lines. Yeah, Beta SETI... Our scanners are picking it up, so we actually know something about it. We're going to be in a situation where it's quite difficult to um, invade the Bulrathi. Um, you need a lot of people because they're so good at ground combat. So I'm not pumped about that. Oh, hey, Duraloy. Instantly obsoleting my ships. Is it worth doing another design before we have propulsion? Yes, of course. Okay. Just gonna upgrade you to Duraloy. Twice as durable. Still can't fit a shield, that's fine. Now these things are for barraging and running, which is why they're gonna be so perfect for defending. <laughs> what, a, what a bad situation we're in. But the good news is With enough numbers, maybe we'll be fine. Uh, the good news is... We... Um, might not have much of a war front here, and we've got a nice wave of better tech coming. To that end, actually, I'm going to go for industrial production for a bit here. Spying still going reasonably well. Even if I could get the nuclear engine, I would... Oh, sublight drives. I think those are rank 3. Still, we're not trailing too far behind the Cylons. That's a good sign. Warp dissipators are terrifying. You can't run away with them. Yay, our increased economies. Oh my goodness, you're willing to trade it? Reduced industrial waste is really nice too. So that reduces the pollution. So you have improved eco-restoration, which makes you be able to clean up pollution faster, like with fewer units of production. And then this makes you produce less waste overall. So the two work together to drastically reduce pollution. Although you can get reduced industrial waste or industrial waste elimination and then it basically obsoletes eco-restoration take text later, but whatever. Or are they gonna circulate it with their friends is the only issue. Because that's pretty good shield technology I'd be giving up. Only to the merchants. Who are you friends with? All right, I'm going to operate on the assumption that they're going to get that tech anyway. Let's do it. And yeah, we're working on something better, but triple speed at a time where speed matters. This is this is good. I am happy with what has transpired today. There we go. And you're still blocking me off like a jerk. Spying's great in this game though. Like it's such a simple system. I have no need for any of those techs, but I'll trade with you. I know you're holding out on me. All right. 
now we are talking. Oh, we're gonna want to crank that up too. You get that's like the combat bonus that you really want. I think we just need a larger rank of ship. Nice fast warship. Named Warship. Shields are really good, so I feel okay about loading them up. Uh, one bomb, because this is going to have to be our, our multi-purpose ship. Okay, fine, too. Meet Warship, everybody. And he looks like this. Oh, I like that hammerhead. All right, it's Warship, gang. All right, and we'll start on it as soon as... Oh yeah, our research is going super slow because we're industrializing everywhere because we just got a 50% increase in our ship or er, industrial capacity. Came at a good time. I'm excited for when the warship arrives before any of the ships already en route. Oh, well, rich homeworld. I'm sure that's not going to be a big deal. All right, next turn, everybody. It's coming. I mean, they're big, so it's going to take a while before we can really crank them out. Crank it. All right. Once we get uh, some better battle computers, actually, it's tempting to whip out a huge ship even, but that's probably quite presumptuous, actually. <laughs> All right, even one is gonna make, make a difference. I'm gonna set up a relocation. Actually, you know what, with this thing's speed, we don't have to worry about it. Four turns, baby. Not as good as the tech we're working on, I know, but I'll take it. Oh my goodness. You know what? We almost have to take on the Bullrathi so we don't have a situation that spirals out of control very soon. Also, I think I'm maybe a bit more afraid of the enemy than I need to be. Well, let's let's see what we can do. We're getting research again, and that's going to be increased, because again, you only have one type of factory. Uh, the propulsion, I can equalize all this again, actually. That's going to obsolete all my ships right away. <laughs> Having a high battle computer lets you go first in combat. Humans, oh. I'm just exploring, don't mind me. I don't actually care if that ship gets destroyed. Okay, still number two. As a matter of fact, I thought there was a way to plot things. Status, yeah, there we go. Total power, pretty low because of terrible fleet strength. We're working on that. Still lagging way the heck behind the Bulrathi, but we got them. We got them beat everywhere else except everything that matters. That's fine. You know what? Who's behind us? Maybe we can go to peace with the Bulrathi and pick on the Mercians first. The only faction I'm ahead. I blame the start. It was not ideal. A lot rides on the start you have in this game. All right, looking good. Looking good. Send down a couple warships. Tempting to attack and just see what they've got. 
We also have the destroyer, which is slowing down that entire fleet, but until we get some tech breakthroughs, we won't have any efficiency gains in the uh, ship design. Basically, every, every time your tech level goes up, your ships get better. Um, maybe not so much with uh, biology. My goodness, look at all the sparrow hawks. If you're wondering what my Patronus was, it's a sparrow hawk, by the way. Yeah, those scouts are useless. They're uh, they don't have a good propulsion system. What's that? What's that worth now? We get some money back. Better than nothing. There's no way of refitting ships, so like, when you uh, obsolete a ship, or when you even commit to a design, like, it's a big deal. They'll go out of date, they'll... They'll have their problems. And it happens quickly, because as I was saying, every time you research in any of the main technology things, your ship gets better and smaller in some way. Or gets more space. Which is sort of another side of the same coin. Um... For example, you research construction techs, um, your ships get bigger. Physically bigger. Oh yeah, baby. Emperor Skylord. Hmm. Alright, pretty neat balance of power. I will vote for because he's my neighbor and I want him to like me. Alright. Should we wait until that other ship arrives? No. Because we don't have to. Five turns for arrival. We might lose our entire fleet here, everybody. Just for the record. That'd be really bad. People would come pick on me after that. ETA three turns. Perfect. And we can probably run away successfully if we need to. Uh, yeah, we'll have them focus on industrial production. Okay. Oh, the tooth. I come for you. Oh, it's going to run away, the dirty coward. Well, it would be very difficult to take over. Yeah, we'll kill some people first. Uh, with our ground tech and the Bulrathi's like super toughness, I don't think we'll do that well against them. Ground combat twenty. I believe that's equal to their like base bonus. Oh yeah, mass driver. That's pretty cool. It uh, cuts damage to stuff. Yeah, we'll wait until the battle suit tech comes through. That'll give us some better ground invasion. Cut down on the population. Then we'll ship the people out. Yay! This is really good for huge ships. That's really good for colonization. We'll go with that. Nope. Oh, if we gave you a ton of money. Nuh-uh. Your overall um, cash supply isn't as important in this one, by the way. What is important is just having a ton of production. All right, sorry that we shipped out all of your people. If I have two to one odds, I still might not be able to beat the Bullrathi, so we need to be 
need to be careful here. Yep. All right, next turn. Yeah, we'll bomb it one more time. And now the troops land. Even like a 10% ground combat advantage gives you like a three to two kill advantage, so. Oh, <laughs> and I mean, look at how terrible their stuff is. And they were still that tenacious. I thought for sure I was gonna lose. Um, I have to. I like to think that all of the original colonists that like came to help Waikala bro, they're the ones that died. Oh my goodness, they have a huge ship. Is it too late for me to cancel? Look at that fleet. Yeesh. I should have taken their offer. Anyway. Who would have seen, who could have seen that coming though? Welp. Once propulsion and weapons come through, we'll uh, design a new ship, I think. Looks like the Blorathi aren't coming for me, though. Oh my goodness. Unless the fleet can destroy it. This is not what we call good timing, as I just dispatched the fleet. Well, cross your fingers, everybody, otherwise we basically lose the game. GNN. Yeah, sure, I accept your peace offer. You're at war with the Bullrathi, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> oh, I had a feeling. I guess I should stop spying on them. We can save some money anyway. Allocate that back to the general budget. I got what I needed from them anyway. All right. Let's form a nice big trade agreement and trade weapons. Yeah, sure. Controlled inferno environment, why not? I think that's, if that's not the best one, it's close to it. Radiated's pretty bad. That was mostly just to raise my tech level. Oh, yeah, yeah, that wasn't that great of a move on my part, but, uh, eh. And let's see if we can keep everyone else happy. Yeah, I'd take it. Wouldn't do that trade, though. This is nice. We're on good terms with everybody. We can... Sort of move at our own pace. Ooh, planetary... Yeah, yeah, I'll make that trade. Planetary shields make it a lot harder for you to die. Therefore, I am pro them. I mean, it only really helps if you have missile bases, but still. No thanks. I'm tempted to make that Gatling laser trade just to get it off the menu. Ion cannon's kind of intriguing. Yeah, sure. Have range. That's not going to matter much. 3 to 8 damage. So what this could let us do, potentially... Oh, by the way, I might go to war with them really soon. We just have to take care of this comet threatening to destroy my home world. 
And your home world, I might add. You should be rooting for me. Oh, shoot. Yeah, sure. We'll leave the destroyers down there anyway. Is a deterrent. Please turn around. Yeah. Oh, boy, I hope. I don't even know how much time I have left. This is not good. Okay, keep it happy. And pull that up by its bootstraps. If you have a shield on your planet, sometimes it becomes actually invincible too. That's really nice when that happens. Not as nice as not having your home world destroyed, but uh, it's a start. Yay. Having enemy shield strength. Oh, I really like the hard beam. It's like a better version of what we just got. Perfect. Yeah, keep working at it. And the comet was destroyed. I have like so many ships there, why isn't it destroyed yet? You need like a certain amount of fleet strength. The comet has destroyed Seoul. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So here's the thing, the game, does it look good? No. Does it smell good? No. But, my goodness, it holds up. Alright, next episode. We're gonna go, um... Borrow something. See you there.